In this session, we're going to install and configure the MQTT engine module for Ignition. The engine module allows us to connect to an MQTT server and subscribe to data. Engine will automatically discover all the data that's there and turn them into usable tags in Ignition that we can add configuration to, like history or alarming, or we can simply use on our screens. The first thing we have to do is install the module. For that, we go to the configuration area, go to modules, come down and install or upgrade a module, choose the MQTT engine module that we've downloaded previously, and install. Now that we have it installed, the first thing we have to do is get it connected to one or more MQTT servers so that we can discover that information. And for that, we go over here to my MQTT engine settings, and we go to the servers tab. Here we can identify one or more server connections. Now you'll note that there's already a connection that's configured here by default, and it's set to go to our local MQTT server. In a previous session, I installed the MQTT distributor module, and it's already here on this machine. We also have transmission that is, that's publishing real data to that server right now. So this one is in fact connected. But if we needed to, we can go edit that connection, change the IP address, or change the username and password that we want to connect with, or we, of course we can add a brand new connection to a brand new MQTT server. Or we can specify that URL, again the authentication for how we connect, whether it's TLS, and there's some advanced properties here like if you want to identify the client ID. So coming back here, uh, we already have that one connected, and that's it. Really, we're going to auto-discover all the information that's there. So we need to open up the Ignition Designer so that we can see those tags um, that are there. Let's go ahead and log in. And we'll open up our project. Okay. The MQTT Engine module adds a MQTT Engine provider to Ignition. And so we can see that here, here under our All Providers inside the tag browser. So if I expand the MQTT engine, you'll see there's a folder here for edge nodes. So if there's anything publishing to that MQTT server, we're going to see them. So in my particular case, I've got the transmission publishing in a, in, a, in a group ID called Ignition with the edge node ID called Edge and the device called Device. Inside there, I've got process information and I've got simulation information. So you can see these tags are publishing and are live right now. So we automatically discover all these tags. And as you can see here, I can actually double click on these tags, go in and apply configuration. Like if I want to add history to these, or if I want to add alarming to these, or add uh, metadata, whatever it might be. However, if from the edge, you have identified metadata, that will automatically show up on these tags. So in this particular case, my accumulator level, the engineering units are already set for me, as well as the, 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 the low and the high limits and any documentation or tool tips we might have will automatically come up as well. These tags are auto-discovered with context, and that allows us to really use that fully inside of Ignition. Now also, in the previous session, I used, I sent up UDTs along with transmission. And for Engine, we automatically turn that into UDT instances. So you'll see here under my data types that I've actually got a motor data type that's being published. In my motors folder, I've got all of those motors that are configured, and the values are coming through. And all I got to do here is go to my motor definition, and I can apply configuration to that, like history alarming, and that's going to apply to every single instance. So I just have to do it in one place. Really makes it simple, especially if you have multiple edge nodes that are out there publishing on the same UDT. It makes it really easy for our configuration because we only have to do it once. Not only are we getting the, the tags that are being sent up, but we are also getting a lot of metrics that are being sent up as well. So for example, for this particular device, I can see there's device information. I can see basically if it's online, uh, what the last data message size was, uh, you know, and uh, you know, updates in time of when it was last online or last offline. A lot of metrics that are really important for us to know so, so that we can trust this information. Of course, if we were disconnected, we're going to get bad quality uh, on all these tags. We'll get overlays on our screen so we would know what's going on there. Not only are we getting that per device, we're also getting that for each edge node. And we can see node information here uh, on that particular edge node or edge gateway. Uh, or on like it, whether it's connected, how many bytes have been sent and received, and uh, if there's any you know latency, what that latency look like, looks like, and a sequence so we can see you know that it's continuing along there. A lot of information as well as we get some node control, where we can basically tell it, hey, go to the next uh, server that's available within that server set, uh, or do a rebirth, or do a reboot, so have some control on that. It would go and send that down to the edge gateway or the edge node, and it would take care of that. There's also information just on Engine itself. Um, so there's a lot of message diagnostics here and information uh, for Engine. So we can see 
you know, the total amount of bytes received and uh, transmitted, we can see for all of the, uh, the MQTT servers and whether it's connected, uh, what, you know, if, if it's online, what the latency is with those, uh, as well as we can see how many nodes, edge nodes are online, how many are offline, we get a full data set of that. And we can, know, we can see who, what was the last one to actually connect. And we can also look at devices and see how many devices are actually uh, in the system and are online or offline. We can use all this information on our screens um, and, and, and really provide a lot of detail into what Engine's doing. But of course, if we were to go publish any new data, that would automatically come into Engine. And so that's really easy to show. And on this particular one, I'm using transmission to publish the data. So under the simulation, let's, let's add something new to this. So we're going to go up here to our tag database um, and uh, under, our, under our tags, and this is under simulation, we're going to add a new memory tag. I'm going to call it simply test and make an integer a value of one. And I want that to get published up. So under my transmission, I'm going to have it um, send that up. So we're going to go to read write mode. I'm going to refresh transmission. So that's now going to look and find that new tag that we added. And it's going to publish that, you know, to the broker that we can then see here on engine. So engine will automatically discover that information coming in. So if I go back to engine now, let's refresh everything, go to engine, my edge nodes, uh, there I'm going to see under edge, under my uh, device, under simulation, I'll now see that test value that's coming through. Not only that, I had another edge, uh, I had another group that just came in that we got published as well, where I can see data from, from, that, from that one here. And this was just from some test tags that we put in there too. So it discovered both of those at the exact same time. Again, automatically brought them in here to Engine. Now, of course, Engine does support reading and writing. Uh, right now, it's in a read-only mode. In the next session, we're going to talk about how we can actually ensure that we can write down to, uh, to the PLC.